Last week, I finally got my two shelves, and this is going to upgrade my humble coffee bar. After measuring 18 times, having to run out to get a new drill bit, accepting that I'll have to drill a massive 5 8 inch of a hole because, you know, toggle bolts, I had it up and running, and it looks amazing. How did this little project come about, and does this help with my coffee workflow, or is this only for show. 2023 was a good year, made some cool videos, got some new gear, and it's a new year, which means a new coffee bar tour. I did acquire some new coffee gear, but I do buy all my own gear, and I also don't believe in buying things that are unnecessary. Since I'm so excited about my coffee wall, let's start here. I have a humble sized kitchen, but it's small-ish, and I don't have a dedicated coffee bar, so my coffee gear is kind of spread out throughout my kitchen. I was accumulating a lot of my coffee bags on my glass flat stove top. It wasn't necessarily ideal. So it got the wheels turning. How can I solve this problem with having my coffee bags kind of a little bit everywhere all over the place? In my favorite little notebook right here in my project section, I actually thought about having a dedicated coffee bar area where this tech cabinet of mine would be replaced by console or side thing and putting all my coffee gear here. See, there are a couple problems with that. I have a nice tech gear here. I don't feel like I could have fit everything I needed in that. It would be further away from my kitchen. It would just kind of make it more annoying to refill water. And it just didn't feel like it made sense in my living room, as well as just having that much additional storage. I feel like when I have more storage, I start filling it up with things and I really am trying to reduce on clutter and things. I'm constantly decluttering. The positives was decor, which is cool, but unnecessary decor sometimes a little bit, you know, unnecessary. And also, if I wanted to do pour over, it would be more accessible because I do currently have everything in the top shelf, but the problem is that I always have to get a step ladder out and uh, I don't really go up there that often to get stuff. That's kind of like my excess coffee stuff. So it's not really for quick access. It's more like the once in a while things like my AeroPress, I pretty much just use it when I travel. So it's stored up there. I thought let's have this nice shelf right back here in this wall that I've never used. Now the problem is that this space right here is actually quite small, four inches deep. There's also this door handle on my fridge. It's eating up a bit more space. And surprisingly, finding one with a really shallow depth was really harder than I thought it would be. I could just take a moment right now to thank everybody that's been following me so far. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please do like and subscribe. This does help the channel, helps the algorithm, and I hope to see you around. By my estimations, I will be over 10K in 2024, so let's make that happen. And also thank you to my Patreon subscribers and everybody else that's just following on this channel because it really just keeps me going and it does help me to buy more equipment, more gear. Thank you. I did play around with different ideas. I played with wood, I played with metal, I played with white, I played with black. I even asked my subscribers on this channel, which color should I go for? It was the two black shelves. And y'all were right. That was the best choice. I'll link these in the description down below if you want them. They're really great and they come at different lengths. And it comes with all the insulation hardware. What I really like about this coffee wall is, first of all, I have a nice new backdrop now for coffee videos, which is fantastic. I'm very happy about that. But that's just aesthetics. I mean, aesthetics are important for me, but yeah. It's not just beautiful, it is functional. First of all, it houses some extra coffee accessories and decor that I would normally not reach for. For example, my brewer's logbook, I haven't reached for that for a very long time, but I'm in a phase right now where I like having two, maybe three different coffees on rotation and being able to keep track of the different grind settings in a book would be helpful. I've been just doing them in a post-it, but I'm back to books. Let me know in the comments down below how your routine is, but I feel like I'm constantly changing my coffee routine, coffee system, how I do things. Sometimes things will stick, sometimes they won't. Sometimes I'll revisit them. I feel like it just depends on what phase of life I'm in or how busy I am or dedicated to coffee I am. Also because I have two of the world's like most expensive grinders. I have my Weber Workshops Moulin and I have the Man Kitchen Cannons and I like both of them and I kind of switch between the both. This gave me a great place to put it that's still in my kitchen, still very accessible and still visually there so I can remember sometimes out of sight, out of mind. I can't put one away and I'm using both of them. So that's a little cuckoo, but also I have both of them, why not? And for my coffee routine, this actually is helpful. I sometimes forget to check my inventory of coffee and then I'm running low and then I run to my roaster. They have fresh bags all the time, but the problem is that they're so fresh, they need to degas. So this is going to be a shelf that is 
great because I could display those beautiful bags of coffee, but I can also see when I'm running out of coffee and that I should probably go out, get some new bags so that they can rest for two to three weeks on my shelf and my display. And I can just easily see what's going on in terms of my coffee inventory, or at least my fresh coffee inventory. So that hopefully, I don't end up in scenarios where I'm like running out again. And originally, the art piece was gonna be the flavor coffee wheel. At that size, eight by 10, it wasn't very big and you couldn't see the lines very well. I have a much more minimalist decor that I felt that the coffee flavor wheel was a little too visually busy. So what I did instead is I put it over here so that I can have quick, easy access to it around my coffee area. It would be more functional and it would be decorative. So there's my little thing about the coffee wall display. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, what has changed in my coffee bar? I've gotten rid of some stuff and I've acquired some new stuff, so let's see. In my kitchen on the left side, it remains camping section. The Weber Workshops key is still here. Nothing has changed. I have my little coffee base here. I did acquire this Normcore WDT tool, which I do sometimes use, but not always. It really depends on if I feel the coffee is clumping and I need to declump. It comes with different size needles. You can adjust it. It's great. It's also magnetic, so you can stick it, you know, wherever it's magnetic. I do have a little humidity reader here for reference. This force tamper that I got, I really like. I, I did say this was my end game tamper, but I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood to get another tamper, so we'll see where I stand with that. Then Lance Hendrick did a video too where this does lower the extraction yield by a tiny bit, but I do like that it was consistent. I haven't really noticed any negatives with it. So for now it stays, but you know what, who knows? Then over here, as I said, I will have two different coffees right now. I just forgot to fill the back one, but these are single dose bean sellers that are way cheaper than the Weber workshops and a CO2 valve. And I did do a little test where I basically blew in and blew out and nothing was going in, but air was coming out. So it does show that it is working in terms of like air being able to get out, but not air being able to get in. And I did go on a trip and I had coffee that was already two, three weeks old in here, went on a trip three weeks later, came back, the coffee still smelled and tasted very fresh, still had crema. There was an issue with one of the caps, I glued it back together. The manufacturer gave me a partial refund. I think I was just unlucky, but so far the rest are doing just fine. Over on this side, we have my trusty Breville dual boiler. Some new additions is the Slayer mod and also the vinyl wrapping that I did on my channel. And in terms of new gear, I have the shot mirror that I put right here with little magnetic arm. And then I also got a MHW3 bomber puck screen. I've been playing around with this just more recently. And also from that same brand, I got this coffee scale that I really like. Got rid of my other one, much slimmer, much smaller, much sleeker coffee scale from MHW3 bomber, full review as well on my channel. And then on the side here, I stuck my Palo brush, which I'm using every single day now, just because once it's easy access, I use it. Get the coffee out of my bag. Then over here, I stuck a magnet on this, this, and this go with my food saver bags. I have a video about how I store coffee and I've gone back to freezing coffee longer term. This is coffee that I already thought and need to actually put in the back row there. I love these bags. They work much better than the seal vax bags that I was starting to struggle with getting a good seal. These work fantastic. The valve is pretty sturdy. I've not had any issues with it so far. I also use it for other things. I use it for all sorts of dried goods in my fridge and freezer, and it's so easy to use. And it comes with this little vacuum sealer thingy, and then you just get the air out. And now to my beautiful coffee wall. We got the decor, we got my brew book, we got a little mushroom cleaning thingy, my man kitchen grinders, some coffee bags, as well as hojicha powder and matcha powder because I just don't drink those enough, but I have them and I like it, but I just forget to drink them because they're in a drawer somewhere. And then my Arco hand grinder, but I usually use that just for traveling, but should I do pour over, it's there. And then up here, my excess coffee gear goes up there. The extras that I don't really reach for very often, but Kalita Wave is here. My Vietnamese coffee filter's there, mocha pot, 
Some extra additional pieces are there. Yeah, that's where that lives. That's it for my Coffee Bar 2024. If you're interested in the Force Tamper, I did a full review right here. You wanna check out my Coffee Scale review. It's a great Coffee Scale. You can check that out right here. And there's a couple of other videos too that I talked about that you'll see in the description down below. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.